I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lencioni, and here's your three-minute reset. Today, when I talk about doing one thing at a time, I have a dear friend who's a Navy SEAL veteran. He's been on 360 combat missions. The guy's amazing. But every time I, I hang out the phone with him, he says, crush everything. And that's how he ends the call. And of course, by that, he means whatever you're doing, do it really, really well. Now, the only way to do anything really well is to do one thing at a time. Sometimes we feel an internal panic. We see the problems in our home or our business, and we kind of want to tackle everything at once. And that's the best way to do nothing at the end of a day, <laughs> right? If you want to accomplish nothing, try to do everything all at once. And people talk about how they're great at multitasking. Guys, no one's that great at multitasking. Pat, one of the great blessings of working with, with you guys at Table Group, uh, the, the, the meeting advantage tool. Like we articulate the one thing that's our big rallying cry, our big focus as a business, because you're just not going to get anything done well unless you can articulate what are we working on? So it's the, the, the task for the day, maybe the task for the quarter. What's the focus? What's about having one? And you know, that area, that, that, that focus is a strategic thing. It's a, it's a tactical thing. It's an interpersonal thing. Because when I'm with somebody and I'm talking to them and they're present with me, you can mm. tell when somebody's present. Mm. And when they're not, I mean, we all notice. We all notice when somebody's got their mind someplace else or they're looking around the room or they're focused on something else. You can't hide that. And, and, and I, I just think about Jesus, like when he was like talking to the woman at the mm. well or talking to anybody, he was so present with them. And he wasn't thinking, well, I got to go do this next thing. I got to go do this next thing. He's like, no, I need to be here. This is where I'm supposed to be. And this is where I am. And yet I get so caught up in thinking, well, what's the next thing? And what am I doing here? And I know the people I'm talking to can probably tell. And so what I need to do when I go into those moments and say, can I just do one thing at a time? The, you know, tomorrow has other things I need to worry about two hours from now. But when I'm in this meeting, I need to be present. My team, they'll call me out. They'll say, you, you're not here right now, are you? They mm. know. They know. And That's so, a good team. Yeah. My kids do that to me too. They'll be halfway through a sentence. Dad, I'm going to start that sentence from the beginning because I could see that you haven't listened to what I was just saying. And I'm thinking, well, I am listening with half my brain, but that's not what anybody wants from you. Or that's not living with excellence. And I love thinking of Jesus, talking to the woman at the well, talking to anybody. Could you imagine him talking to the woman at the well while simultaneously up, updating his Instagram? Right. He, he just, he wasn't distracted. He was where he was. He was doing what he did. And in his preaching, he told us, tomorrow has enough worries of its own. You know, you worry about today. In other words, you focus on one thing at a time. And this is 1 Corinthians 10. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. What a great call to focus that is. Yeah. God, help us to focus where you want us to be, on the right things and to stay there and to avoid the distractions that keep us from, from doing what you want us to do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.